Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm super excited because it is a room transformation video. This video pretty much took me like a whole week to film and do, but I'm so happy and satisfied with the final result of my room. I've been wanting to redo my room for the longest time, but I've always like put it off because I was super lazy and I knew it would take a long time. But the reason why I did it is because I'm going to university soon. I wanted to have some sort of change for like a new chapter in my life. Also, this is kind of off topic, but a lot of you guys have been asking if I'm gonna move out or like live in a dorm for university and I'm actually just living at home for university at least for the first year there are many reasons why but the number one reason is because the university that I'm going to isn't that far from where I live my university is in Toronto so it's not like a far commute and also my semester this year isn't gonna be like fully all in person it's gonna be half and half and I felt like there was no point in moving out if like only half of my classes are in person also another reason why I wanted to redo my room is because I was just getting so sick and tired of my old room like the setup and the layout my room has been like that for like almost four years and it wasn't really like cute or like my vibe honestly right now as i film this intro my room is already done but yeah i'm gonna be showing the whole process of how i redid my room so i hope you guys enjoy I'm gonna be giving you guys a little overview of my room right now before I redecorate it and like clean everything out I cleaned my room up a bit to show you guys This is my door and this is like a little overview As you can see my bed is so tiny and I've been sleeping in this bed for like pretty much my whole entire life so i can't wait to switch it out i also don't really like my desk area anymore i want a cuter desk set up i'm also getting sick of this photo wall and then next to my desk is the shelf and i'm pretty much gonna clear out everything here it just looks so messy and cluttered So the first step in redoing my room is painting my walls I don't really like the current color of my walls Just because I feel like it gives off like yellow undertones Especially on camera I don't really like how the lighting looks in my videos And it has to do with the color of my walls Because it is more like cream beige toned than white So I'm going to be painting it to basically white So hopefully when I film in my room after It'll look more bright And my dad's going to be helping me with painting my walls I'm already sweating because it's kind of hot today. So I'm gonna be changing out of this sweater. Some of the sticky part didn't come off properly. So I'm probably just gonna buy like new LED lights on Amazon. My room is now completely empty. So we just finished painting my room, but as you can see, it's such a more like bright white color. Since it's night right now, the lighting isn't the best, so you can't really tell. But I just wanted to update you guys. I'm gonna be building my new bed now, and I still have to like decide how I want to like arrange my furniture. I might move my layout a bit. Um, 
please don't mind how crusty I look right now. My hair is so greasy. But anyways, I'm currently setting up my bed right now. There's no headboard. There's just like shelves and you put the mattress on top. And you can use this as like storage. Anyways, I'm going to try putting these bed sheets on now to just see how my bed would look like kind of more complete. This is where I've been sleeping currently. It's my sister's room and since she moved out, we just have like a spare bed here and then everything is just like stored in her room right now so i think i'm done for today with my room i'm gonna work on it tomorrow because right now i have to get ready for my friend's birthday party which is literally in like 10 minutes i'll show you guys what i have done so far for today so as you saw before i have the bed and then i have my full-length mirror my desk and then my dresser i don't know if you noticed but i did rearrange my desk and dresser i used to have my dresser right beside my bed here and i also put my bed like this way originally my old setup my bed was facing this way and then my desk was here with my shelf but i decided to just like take my shelf out completely and put it in my sister's room because it just looked so like ugly and messy in my room and i love having my desk beside like my windows and a wall because before i had my desk here and there wasn't like any wall beside it but i've always wanted my desk to be like next to a wall so i feel like it's more like i don't know cozy and like nice so now that i don't have my dresser here there's like more space basically what's left with my room is like decorating it and making it look pretty and cute and aesthetic so quickly, I wanted to talk to you guys about the phone cases that I've been using recently and they are from Casetify who is kindly sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know, Casetify is a phone case company and their cases are slim and protective. Their impact cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Cheetech and drop test approved for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet for impact cases and 9.8 feet for ultra impact cases, which is so cool. So that makes them much more protective than the cheaper alternatives you would find on Amazon or other sites. They also come in tons of different styles so you can pick your favorite color or you can match it to your own style there's also customizable cases so you can add your name or whatever words you want for a custom case their impact and ultra impact cases are also made with 50 percent recycled material i'm also going to perform a drop test to show you guys so i have the case on right now i have my phone right here i'm going to drop it from this height as you can see, there are no scratches, no dents, and my phone is working perfectly fine. Case device cases are also antibacterial, keeping your phone case germ-free, and it also kills 99% of bacteria. So you guys can go to casetify.com slash seringho to get 15% off your order. I will also have the link down below in my description box. So basically today I'm going to try to finish doing my room. I still have to decorate it and put things back because right now I only have like furniture and like the basic stuff in my room. It's so hot and humid today like the weather lately has been insane and it's Canada It's supposed to be like more chilly when it's like the end of August before I start redecorating my room I wanted to do like a haul of everything that I got for my room like room decor and new things to like put in my room So the first thing that I got is this LED clock from Amazon. It's like all over Pinterest This is what it looks like the next thing that I got are some pillowcases from Muji I've actually been looking for like checkered or pastel pillowcases online, but I literally can't find them anywhere. So I just like got these from Muji. They're both striped and they just give off that like very minimalistic vibe. I also got this really cute heart mirror. And I feel like everyone has this. It's so pretty. Next, I got this lamp from Walmart and I love the color. It's so cute, but I'm still debating whether or not I should keep it or return it because I already have like a lamp for my desk. I also got this vase of fake tulips and this was from Winners. These ones are kind of too wide for my liking, but they still look really cute. I also got this lamp for my nightstand, but I still don't know if I'll keep it. And then I got this duck lamp. Oh, it turned on. <laughs> if you press it, it turns on. It's so cute. The last thing I got are these floating shelves. I feel like I won't put these up because there's just like too much going on then. I originally was going to put this for like my manga. I also printed some pictures for my new photo walls that are going to be above my bed and my desk. two new pillows and i'm gonna put the muji pillowcases i don't really like this one though so i don't know if i'll keep it on my bed but i'm just gonna test it out for now
I just cut out all of the pictures and I'm deciding on the layout right now. I'm honestly so indecisive that like I don't really know how I want to lay this out. This is the current brain rot I'm in. I just caught up with the toilet bound manga so I am devastated. <laughs> I didn't really print out too much anime just because I wanted that like more minimalistic clean look. Another one of my favorite and comfort ships. And then we have Chainsaw Man. This picture just makes me sad now. I'm um, sorry if I sounded so dead in that clip. It's because it's literally 6 11 a.m. right now. I still haven't slept. My eyes are literally closing but I have to finish doing my wall at least so that I can like upload this in time and like everything's on schedule. I just kept procrastinating and then all of a sudden it was 6 a.m. <laughs> hasn't been that while since I took a shower so that's why my hair looks kind of but I'm pretty much almost done my room now I just have to kind of like add the decorations I'm gonna try turning on the LED light now I'm so excited to put it off I have to plug it in so I just set the time up it looks so cute oh my god I feel like it really completes like my desk set up i also added like one haikyuu poster up here i want to add like my old anime prints and manga prints on my walls but i feel like it won't really like match the vibe in my room because they're more like bright and colorful and i'm trying to go for that like more minimalistic and toned down look but i really like my anime prints so i feel like i'll just add a few along my window here i have them all like stuck together in this So I'm finally done my room and I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Gonna be doing a room tour and showing you guys the final product right now i've actually never done a room tour on my channel so this is my very first time like actually showing my entire room but yeah let's get started with the tour so this is my door and right next to it is my makeup storage on top i have all of my makeup which i won't go in depth because there's so much and then the second one it's really messy but i just have like beauty stuff i have a bunch of clips and claw clips, headbands, scrunchies. And then in here I have all of my contact lenses. And then the last one I just have like hair products. There's like my curling iron, my hair dryer. Here I have my closet. It's actually pretty small so I can't fit like all of my clothes in here. So some of my clothes are in my sister's room. Right now it's so clean and organized. Before it was like so messy. I couldn't even like find anything. Here I have this like hook thing. I have all of my bags, my go-to tote bag, and then this Laneige one. A lot of people ask me where I got this and I actually got it at some like Chanel exhibition when I went with my aunt in London, England. So and then I have like my belt here. In my closet, I store like my jackets, my sweaters, my hoodies. As everyone knows, I love my hoodies. So I have a lot of them. But next to that, we have my bed area. I'm literally so happy with how this part turned out. I think it's one of my favorite parts of my room. Here we have this Hello Kitty mat and my grandma got this for me like a long time ago when I had like a huge face for Hello Kitty. And then this is my bed. I did switch out my old small bed for this new one. And this is a queen sized one from Ikea. These bed sheets are also from Ikea. I also have my cacao plushies, which are from Korea. And they're so cute. I feel like the colors really match my room. Underneath my bed is the bed frame, which is basically just like drawers I keep for storage. So in this one, I have all of my jeans. As you can see, it's all organized. In this one are all of my shorts and comfortable pants. In this drawer, I can't really open it, but I have like dresses, sweaters, and stuff like that. Above my bed, I have a few decor pieces. I love how this part turned out. I feel like the color scheme is so cute and it all just goes so well together. This is the picture wall above my bed. I decided to just put a few prints because I didn't want it to look too cluttered or messy. It's very like pink, pastel, and blue. Next to that, we have the heart mirror. 
And then I have this floating shelf, which is from Walmart. On top, I have my Polaroid and a few K-pop albums. I originally didn't add these, but then I decided to anyways because I feel like it just adds more to my room. I only put the ones that look like aesthetically pleasing and go with the color scheme of my room. I have Persona, Love Yourself, an NCT album, and Hanyang Yona Part 2. Loki's scared that these are gonna fall on me one day when I sleep on my head, but... Then below that, I have this fake vine plant from Ikea. Next to my bed is my nightstand. Above my nightstand, I have this small picture wall that I just put up so that I can fill up the empty space. I have this old picture of Kagehina Hunter Hunter. I love this one, it's so cute. And then I have this Polaroid of me and my friends. On top of my nightstand, we have my YouTube plaque. This LED light up lamp of my, but it doesn't work anymore. In this little cup, I have all of my remotes for my room. This one's for my galaxy light. This one is for my main light and my fan. And then this one is for my LED lights. I have this nightstand. It's really old. I've had this since I was like in kindergarten, but I still think it looks so cute. And what's cool about it is that you can touch here and it turns on. And then inside here are really messy. I don't even know what I have in here. I have a bunch of like Polaroids and random photo booth pictures. In here, I just have more scrunchies. At the bottom, I have more more albums. This isn't my full collection, but again, I only put the ones that look like aesthetic and cute for my room. I have all of my other K-pop albums in my sister's room. Beside my nightstand, I have this little chair thing. I think it's from Marshalls. It's like a fuzzy material. Then I have this fake plant, which I also think is from Marshalls. Next to my bed area is my full-length mirror. This one is from Ikea and I've had it in my old room as well. I used to have this mirror right here, but I decided to just keep this space empty. I realized that when I film hauls and stuff, I need like a blank wall. Next to my full length mirror, we have my desk area. And this is definitely my favorite part of my room. I love how it turned out. I'm literally obsessed and like it makes me want to study. So starting off, I have like a bigger lamp and I'm aware that I have a lot of lamps in my room but this one i really like because i rarely ever turn on my main light and i just like have this light on i like the lighting of it on my desk i have quite a few decor pieces so first we have this vase of fake tulips and this is from winners next to that i have this speaker that's from aritzia it looks very retro and then on top i have this little a peach plush and this was actually a keychain but it fell off my bag so now it's like used as decor beside that i have my little manga collection and i actually had a hard time figuring out where to put this so i was gonna put like a floating shelf or like get a new shelf just for my manga but i figured that wouldn't be like a good idea because i don't really have a big collection then i have this like acrylic stand thing there's like two of them and i just stack them on top like this so on top i just have this cup of like stationary stuff i have all these pretty lead pencils also these cute little pens these are all from korea they have like the cutest stationary there in front of that i have this polaroid with my friend this was from grad i have my airpods and then this cute little hand cream the bottom part i have washi tape and a few sticky notes next to that i have this peach hand cream these mini fake plants from ikea and then over here i have the duck lamp you can press it and then it turns on and i think this is like the most adorable thing ever then i just have my standard lamp right here you just press here and it turns on you can also charge your phone here but i never use it because i'm always like on my phone at my desk so i just use like the cord right here to charge my phone and then i just have my macbook right here and this mechanical keyboard that came recently and i ordered it like three weeks ago and i'm obsessed with it it lights up and i love like the clicking noises and there's like so many different effects you can do my friend was the one who recommended it for me you can like change the settings i love the setting because every time you like click on it it like lights up and then i have this cute little shiba inu mouse pad with this mouse and this one sucks so i'm gonna probably get a new one now for my desk photo wall this is what it looks like i had a really hard time like trying to lay out the prints and how i wanted it to look again i wanted to keep it simple and minimalistic i love the color scheme because i feel like it's like muted tones i have toilet bound and i love them this like japanese perfume poster thing and then we have ueno from given it was also in my old room above my desk but i had to add it here too because we all know my obsession over given and then just a few more prints here i love this one of perfect blue the movie was kind of confusing but i still really liked it like the meaning behind it above my picture wall i have the led clock i feel like it adds a lot to my desk i love it and then lastly we have this little heart mirror this one is like the same one above my bed but it's in white and it's smaller i feel like it really matches like the white tulips underneath my desk i have this door that's from ikea and it's really messy but yeah as you can tell 
Oh my god, this one doesn't even open. This is my chair. It's also a gaming chair and I've showed it in my past vlog. I feel like it adds color to my room and it's so comfortable. Beside my window, I decided to put three anime prints here. These are all really old. I had them in my old room. But yeah, I have this Haikyuu poster. I love this one. Then Spirited Away, which I feel like is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. And then Bungo Stray Dogs, one of my favorite animes. I can't tell if it looks like kind of random. I feel like over time, maybe it'll grow or like I'll take it down. Moving on, we have my dresser area. I feel like this part of my room does look kind of empty. First, I have this table from Amazon. And originally, I got this for my nightstand, but I feel like I'm gonna return it just because it didn't look good with my bed and it was too low. So for now, I'm just using it like as a stand for my speaker. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna return it. On top of my dresser, I have this lamp and I think this one's from Winners. I have this alarm clock, which is from Korea. This fake Ikea plant, this candle in the scent mango. And then here I have skincare. I feel like the packaging really matched the dresser. Then I have this mirror that I use to do my makeup. If you click here, it turns on. Beside that, I have my jewelry. So I just have this small plate of cute necklaces. I have this chromey one from my friend's small business. Here I have my jewelry box. This is from Amazon. I have all of my rings, some small hoop earrings, and more rings here. In this one, I have more necklaces. The last one, I have these two friendship bracelets. And then I have this necklace. It's one of my favorites from YesStyle. Behind that, I have this like necklace holder. I just keep more of my necklaces here. Below all that are all of my drawers that I keep my clothes in. This one I have all of my oversized shirts. In here I have like all of my cardigans and my long sleeves. Then in this one I have all of like my baby tees, crop tops, and tank tops. Here I have all of my skirts. I do have like a bad obsession over skirts so I have a lot of them. This one I have all of like my pajamas. I also switched out my old light and ceiling fan for this one. The light is much brighter. This is my old one and it's currently used in my dad's office room. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the room tour and the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!